Hi everyone, my name is Josh Quadra and today I am in the Elisis Drums Chop Shop. Today I'm going to be talking about double bass, more specifically a double bass pattern that you can use to help your foundational double bass grooves to add it to your arsenal. There is an awesome band for all you metalheads out there, you know who they are. Pantera, uh, amazing band, amazing drummer. Vinnie Paul is one of the most influential metal drummers for the modern era. I grew up listening to them. And one of my favorite songs that really turned me on to them was Domination. There is an awesome double bass groove that I wanna focus on and share today. We can analyze the groove, we can analyze that and break it down. And I want to share some exercises that you can use from that groove that Vinny did to help with your double bass playing. And uh, let's get started. So the, the double bass groove that Vinny does is like a quad pattern, right? Four with the kick into the snare. I'm gonna play that at tempo and then I'm gonna go and break it down. The tempo, by the way, for domination is 140 beats per minute. Good. So that was the main groove from Domination. Four on the floor, uh, right before the snare drum. It's an awesome groove. Listen to it because it lines right up with the guitar. Uh, and it's a lot of fun to play. In your journey as a drummer and as a musician, you're going to find these songs that you can't get out of your head, that you want to play over and over and over again because they're so much fun. This is one of those songs for me. And in that journey, sometimes you'll find sections of music and grooves that inspire you to, to expand on and, and want, to, want to dig in more and, and find out more that you can do. So let's take that quad pattern and let's explore ways that we can use that uh, to develop our double bass drum foundation, right? So the first exercise I want to show you is just doing a backbeat, two and four backbeat. And before every snare hit, I'm gonna do uh, that quad lick, one E and a two, three E and a four, one E and a two, three E and a four. Uh, and you can use this exercise as an endurance building exercise, as a speed agility exercise. Uh, for right now, uh, we'll keep it on the snare and kick. I'm gonna start this at 120, uh, just, just so we can start out. Something else that's important, when you're learning double bass and you're learning things that require a lot of speed, it's okay and it's good to start things slow and build them up because you're gonna develop your muscle memory better that way. And believe it or not, that's the fastest way to developing speed. Start slow, uh, develop that, get it clean, and then start pushing the tempo. So uh, let's look at this uh, at 120 BPM. This is exercise number one. We'll speed it up. I'll play it at tempo at 140. And let's take it a little faster. I'll take it at 160. Let's push it a little bit. Awesome. So that's exercise one. That's what I would call your foundation exercise. One way to practice these exercises I'm giving you, try and set your metronome up to whichever tempo is most comfortable for you. Try and play these back to back for, I don't know, five minutes. 
that's a good way to start getting your muscles working, right? So let's explore a way to make this a little bit more challenging. You've gotten this tempo up, uh, you've been practicing it, you got it solid at that tempo. Great. What's the next step? Cut the beats down between the snare hits. Right now, we're just doing it on two and four, uh, which is every other quarter note. What if we took that and took out an eighth note? So now we're playing instead of one E and a two, three E and a four, three E and a bump, three and a bump. Now we're gonna play almost like a swing six eight thing, right? Let me play this section for you so you could hear it. We'll take it at 120. A little different, more on the off beats. You're, you're challenging your balance a little bit more. Let me play uh, what I just played back to back with the original exercise so you can kind of hear how these two things feel uh, together. And we'll take it a little faster. Let's take it at 140. Cool. So that's a good exercise to play, again, long-term, five minutes, 10 minutes, work on your balance between the two uh, because those feel very different, but it's all derived from that same quad rhythm that we heard uh, Vinny play on Domination. One last thing that you can do to challenge yourself is to move uh, your snare hit around the toms uh, so instead of playing your snare on two and four, maybe play your toms on two and four. And it gets really cool when you start to implement that six, eight feel uh, that we play on the back end. So I'll do two bars of four, four with that, with the domination groove. And then I'll do two bars of that six, eight feeling uh, and move the snare around with the toms. So you can see what that and hear what that feels like. Let's check it out. Bump. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. That was some ways to look at an iconic drummer, an iconic song, find this iconic groove, take that groove, make it your own, develop some exercise around it. Explore being uncomfortable with these grooves because you're gonna challenge yourself, challenge your balance, and ultimately add to your arsenal uh, of awesome groups to play with your double bass. My name is Josh. Thank you for joining me in the Elisis Chop Shop. Cheers. Yeah.